Alrighty guys, in a previous video I showed you how to use old Patterson reels, like two of them, using two of those to develop 70 millimeter film. This is just a tail end of 70 millimeter film that I have. Uh, it's used for my 116 film project. If you don't know, 116 film is a very antique film. It's older than 120 film. And as you can see, it's 70 millimeters tall. And I got a whole bunch of these on eBay. Or no, not eBay. I'm going to sell a whole bunch of these. Um, somehow I ran into a shit ton of 70 millimeter reels. And quite simple. So you load it. That's it. When I got it backwards, always cut the corners off. So this is 116 film going into the reel. It's that easy. Um, I'm not going to use these. I have ten of them. I'm going to keep one just in case. But I'm going to sell the rest to help fund my project. For my 116 film project. So, if you guys really want some of these, I'll put the link on my blog or eBay or something. Or you, should, or you can message me. Uh, I was going to use these, but I don't have a film tank big enough for this. And I really don't want to take the time to build a film tank. Uh, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just, like, use a Dremel and cut the rest of these excess reels off, like, from here down. Make a small one about as big as the Patterson reel so that I can develop in my Patterson tank, but look how big this is. So, I know a lot of people have a 70 millimeter cassettes. Let me see if I can grab one real quick. So, yeah, I have one right here. Um, this reel was really easy. I think this is like 8, 10, 15 feet, I don't know. But, yeah, so these reels are meant for these. One of these days, one of these days I'll get be able to use it. So in previous video I showed you how to use two two reels to develop 70 millimeter film in your Patterson tank. But I have a couple of these little guys. This is a uh, film apron, also known as film lasagna. All you do is unwind it, and I do use it in my Patterson tank. And I just got a Jobo processor, not the entire Jobo processor, just, just the tank. So, so here's my uni tank from Jobo. Comes with a lid, but lid's somewhere on the floor. I can't reach it. So, say this is your film in the dark. All you do is shove it in there. Oop. That's it. And then you start like that. And in the dark, you just want to keep both fingers like this. And that's it. So you keep going. And this is the most simplest way to develop film. I don't know why... Oh, I know why these aprons aren't used anymore. Uh, they're not as consistent as a reel. But as long as you keep it loose... Imagine how easy that is to do in the dark. Especially for these larger format films. Um, because 116 is so big, it's... I find it hard to use the Patterson reels in the dark. This is a lot easier. Here's my Jobo tank. And all I do is shove that in the hole. This goes in here. And that's it. And I have a little Uni roller, as well as a SEBA chrome roller. Um, this Jobo processors. They want you to, it's a rotating uh, action. So I did get some rotating agitators on eBay. They're they're fairly cheap. They're about sixty bucks, and compared to a Jobo processor, they're it's dirt cheap. But um, yeah. So that's how I develop seventy millimeter film now. I do have ten of these guys available to purchase. I might just throw them in e eBay sometime this week. Um. But I will send a message to all of my photo friends that are on YouTube. You guys might want one of these. I'll hold a couple for you. But yeah, so still working on my 17 million or 116 film project. 
and that's just another way how to develop 70 millimeter film. So if I had a tank for this, I would definitely use it and probably load two, roll, two rolls of 116 film on here. But I don't, so I'm stuck using the Jobo processors. Or not the processor, the tank. So you still can use the uh, Patterson reels with the making a mess over here. Film apron. Not only does it work, this is the spool for the Jogo. There's a spool for the Patterson reel. It's actually a little better because it's slightly bigger and it fits more snugly. That's it. Um, there it is. That's it. That's how I develop 70 millimeter film, also known as 116 film, for my 116 film project. And God, I got so much stuff on this table. So, well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment and, or send me an email. It's a lot quicker and it's a little easier. And you can t put more words in an email than you can on a YouTube comment. So, uh, well, thanks for watching. Again, subscribe. Send me an email if you have long ass questions. But, anyways, uh, once I hit the 100 subscriber mark, I am going to give away something. So, keep that in mind. But, guys, thanks for watching.